without a car, you're not going to get much of an education. I was thinking the same thing, sir. Well then, come with me. That's part of the Mach 5! It's Speed Racer's car! Now, Speed, can you tell me how fast this car needs to go to survive the turn? Um... Come on, Speed. Your car is about to crash. Pencils is great. <laughs> Time's up. What's your answer? I think the answer is, um... Sorry to disturb your class, Professor Wynn. I'm just showing Mr. Zazik around the new facilities he donated to the school. Oh, please, it was nothing. Just 13 or 14 buildings. <laughs> Hi, honey. Stan, wave to my daughter. Oh, well, you're just in time to watch our new student speed answer a question on race velocity. Go ahead, Speed. Uh, uh... Well, that's fascinating. Looks like I need to donate more books. Come along, Stan. Uh, thank you, Professor Wynn. Well, Speed? Uh, sorry, Professor. Can't be late for my next class. It's all the way across campus. I'll be expecting your answer! Man, classes here are so much tougher than I'm used to. Yeah, you waited in Wynn's class. I was only up there because you went all Mach 5 mad on me. I can help, Speed. Just give me six hours of your free time each day. Six hours? Why not make it nine? That seems reasonable. Here, guys, help me with this. Do you want to go over Professor Wynn's question? Uh, I'm going with no on that. <laughs> Good. So, we can talk about how weird it is that Speed just happened to be left at an orphanage with Speed Racer's red bandana and the key to the Mach 5. Face it, dude. There's a chance you might be... Will you stop? There's as much chance of me being related to Speed Racer as there is you being related to Darth Vader. Oh, yeah? Chim Chim. <laughs> Speed! I'm your father. Connor, knock it off. Lucy, you're my own. Way to go, Dark Lord. What a charming little tour, Headmaster. In fact, I have a little present for you to commemorate the completion of the new facilities. Stan? Faster Stan, the Headmaster, is a very busy man. Sorry. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Hey, the virtual track's been activated. Care for a look? Ah, delightful. Stan, come. Terrible, Larry. Just terrible. Can anyone tell me what he did wrong? Being born? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Zazik. Now, does anyone have something useful to say? Is this the actual Mach 5? Yeah, it is. Cool, right? We found it in pieces in the junkyard and put it back together. That's so not cool, X. Are you just going to let him get away with driving your dad's car? I wouldn't let that kid drive my mom's scooter. Mom's scooter is awesome! I know! It's pink with those cool ribbons on the handlebars. We love those. Knock it off. Believe me, Speedy and I are going to have a long talk. I know we're late. It took us longer to assemble the Mach 5 than we thought. I'm not interested in your excuses. But I'm sure you'll be interested in watching the Mach 5 in action. 
Speed, we haven't even had a chance to test the car out yet. Well, then, this is the perfect opportunity. Cool. What's the course? Oh, don't worry. It's just a few little obstacles. Now, get to the starting line. driving made Spritel shut down the track. What? You're the one who fixed the Mach 5. Yeah? Well, her plan was push all the buttons. At least I had a plan. <laughs> nice teamwork. Shut, shut up! up. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. What? I think your bird is beating up your monkey. <laughs> My money is on the bird. X wants to see you now. And tell him to get glasses. Stay out of this. It's all right, Lucy. I knew this was coming. You might want to take the bird. Speed, please report to Headmaster Spridal's office immediately. Sorry. 
Looks like I'll be lunching with Spritel. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Speed. Take a seat. Look, I know what this is about, and let me just say I'm really not a lame driver. I I'm just not used to the Mach 5 yet. Speed, do you think I brought you here to kick you out of school? Uh, yes? I mean, uh, no, of, of course not. I brought you here to talk about the Mach 5. Cool, right? Connor just needs to dial it in a little. You're not gonna take it away, are you? No, but you must tell me where you found it. In the junkyard. I know this is strange, but my key just started glowing when I got near the car. Let me see that. It's just a normal key now, but you should have seen it. I want you to be very careful. There are people who will stop at nothing to get to the Mach 5 and its secrets. Promise you'll come to me if you see anything strange. Oh, he won't see my strangeness coming. Now listen, all of you. I want to find out this boy's history and fast. The Mach 5 doesn't just appear out of nowhere. The man's a genius. But I think I got something on the kid. That was fast. What is it? His name is Speed. Ooh, that man is also a genius. I already knew his name. Now find out who this kid is. Where is he? Where is he? Will you concentrate? You asked me to help with your homework. Speed! What happened? Nothing. He just asked me about the Mach 5. What did you tell him? The truth. What? That you stole my father's car? What? You heard me. You've got no right to be driving my father's car. The Mach 5 was so important to you, you should have looked for it yourself. Point speed! Stay out of this tailpipe. Back off, princess. Show some respect, newbie. I will, when I find someone who deserves it. You talk a big game. How about we settle this with a race? Fine. But there's no access to the track at night. There is for me. My father built a track. I know all the activation codes. Since I got us in, I get to pick the course and I get to race too. Because, because your daddy built the track. We know. Whatever. Let's just get to racing. Newbie's got attitude. Let's see if he likes the Eliminator. What? What? I didn't know you were going to race tonight. What are those? Combat cars. They're computer-driven monsters with the artificial intelligence programming of great white sharks. And just as dangerous. Hello, honey. Dad. Listen closely. I want Speed and the Mach 5 destroyed. You called for that? I was gonna trash him anyway. That's my girl. You're about to eat my dust, Speed Bump. Keep trash talking, Annalise. Pay attention, Speed. I don't want you wrecking my father's car. Seconds, a new record. Well, those driving tutors sure paid off. You made me move too soon, and now Speed's made me look. 
look like a dork! He's gonna pay. Oh, he'll pay. my father's car. I also saved your life. Like I really needed your help? You're both about to need some help. Oh, hi, Headmaster. Annalise, Connor, Lucy, go back to your rooms. But Headmaster, we... Rooms, now. Now, which one of you is going to tell me what happened here? Nothing, Headmaster, just a friendly little race. Right, Speed? Right, just a friendly little race. Save it. You two clean up this mess now. What? Why should I have to clean up? Not another word. I want to see both of you in my office first thing in the morning. Done. This isn't over yet. What's your problem? You. I'm out of here. What was that all about? Oh, nothing. He just can't let the whole crashing the Mach 5 thing go. I mean, what's up with that? I just destroyed the Mach 5. I know! How could you destroy this beautiful- Connor! I mean, it's just a car. It's not like it was that famous. <laughs> uh, Connor, your monkey's hugging me? Friends hug speed. Let Chim Chim feel his feelings, for he loved the Mach 5, too. <laughs> what now? What is it? The key's pulling at me. What's in it? Looks like some sort of computer chip. Come here, Chim Chim. What? Oh, is that, is that what I think it is? It's the engine for the Mach 6. No! I thought I destroyed all designs for the Mach 6. If those infernal kids build that car, it could topple my empire. We've got to build it. I hate to be the flat tire on this tricycle, but the Mach 5 is totaled, and we don't have the money or parts to build a new car. No, no way. 
We're looking at the most sophisticated engine ever designed. I want to build it. Lucy is right. Even if you build it, what are you going to put it in? <laughs> What is it? A race. And the winner gets all the parts he can carry at the checkered flag racing store. Nice job, Chim Chim. Um, don't start the party yet. It says here that first year racers can't enter. I've got to meet with Sprite in the morning anyway. I'll just ask him to bend the rules for me and, and let me into the race and loan me another car. <laughs> yep, this plan can't fail. Awesome! We're doomed. Morning. Do me a favor, don't talk to me. Let's just get through this so I can forget you ever existed. Cool with me. You two, get in here, please. Look, Headmaster, I know that X and I messed up. You messed up. But any chance you might let me race in the parts rally next weekend? Oh, and lend me a car? No, no, and absolutely not. It's against the rules. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Speed, but there's nothing I can do. Told you you wouldn't go for it. But if I'm going to be a racer, I really need those parts. I can't change the rules. Not even for my nephew. What are you talking about? I've always known my brother hid his second son away before he disappeared. His second son? Yes, X. You were already known around the world. That made you safe. But his second son was so young, and your father thought it best to keep him secret. What, what are, are you saying? saying? Speed, when you arrived at this school looking so much like him, I thought maybe. Now, having seen you next to X, and after that business with the Mach 5, I'm convinced. X, say hello to your brother. That's right. You're Speed Racer's son. You're my brother? Speed Racer is my father? No! <laughs> <laughs>